I bought a uh, Intex K2 Excursion Pro on Facebook's store. Got a really good deal on it. The person that owned it before, it's been in their garage for years. Well, at least a year. And they hadn't used it at all. So this is the first time I'm setting it up to make sure I know how to do it. Got the one side pumped in and let's see how well I've got started with unpacking it and I filled the one end up not quite full. The purpose is just to figure out that how to put this together and what I need to do to get it to work. And so the kit came with everything. As I mentioned earlier, I uh, got a pretty good deal on this. Basically brand new for uh, better than half price of what a new one would cost. So this, I'm pleased that this pump really pushes in a lot of air, so I'm not, it's not really hard to pump. And uh, puts in a good amount of air each time. What I learned with the first side is I need to be a little bit quicker taking the hose off and then putting the plug back in because the air comes out pretty quickly. On this kit, you got two different fill areas and it tells you which side to fill up first and which side to fill up second. So that's pretty full. And so, I just discovered where number one was. <laughs> it is not here. This is number two. And that what I first did was number three. And number one is down there. It was hidden. It really didn't show it really well in the directions. And so, shucky darns. So, take this off. I'm going to let that valve stay open. Because one of the in the directions it says it's important to go in order valve one two and three and I didn't do that so I'm gonna let both of these open both these valves and what's nice is that there's strings attached to it so that the valve caps aren't lost so so first you do the bottom, and actually this inflatable has fins or skags, I think it's kind of, on the bottom. So we'll just turn around, say about 75% full, maybe a little bit more. See how it's stretching things out a bit. I'm going to get it two more pumps. One thing is, you don't want to overinflate it, it says. And so, this. Come on, fingers. Okay, got that done. Now, this is number two over here. Nice locking mechanism on it. it has holders for uh, my GoPro on. It comes with supplies to uh, pass a fishing pole as well. I may use that down in Florida in some of the spots. One of the thoughts is to use this mostly in Florida. Because there are several places where I put in and I can't get into a dock. I need to 
be out on a buoy. This model is the uh, bigger model. It comes with two different seats that inflate. And so I'm just going to set up one. I, did, I wanted to get two because my brother, one of my brothers, wanted to come along when I got up into Lake Superior. And I'm not sure when that's going to happen. So I need to kind of hold that on. Hmm. Just fill this up to 72 percent. Now with the directions, this is probably the best. This uh, this canoe is uh, made for two persons actually. Very rarely am I going to be doing that. And there are, and this is the seat that I have currently in here, in this position. And there's another set of Velcros way in the back, so I could be in the back or I could be in the center. But I, one of the things I like is that even if there's two people, I still have all this storage room up front. Now there's uh, holders here where I can put in a, a footrest, which I'll do later. Right now, with what I'm doing, I'm not concerned with that. I don't want to open the box up yet uh, so that it stays intact. But I am going to go ahead and experiment with putting the seat in the different spots so I have an idea of where to put my seat when I'm out and about. I really don't see me, I can see me fishing. I really don't see me, what am I doing though? What am I doing? Ah! I think I've got a nice little pro. Boys gave me Christmas one year. I used it a number of times. So I can see me using that. So right now what I'm doing is I'm stretching it out as far as I'll go. And there are D rings that need to catch. Stretch them out all the way. Seat. I'm currently doing this. I'm still in Chattanooga, Tennessee, at Lakeshore Marina. Hopefully, I'll be able to get out of here in the next day or so. Let's get into my. Whoa! Missed the seat.
sure glad I'm doing this on the hard, not out in the water someplace. Yeah, that's better. That's better. Come to two sets of paddles. They break down into little sections about that long, so easy storage. Yeah, I don't think I'd want to take a real long boat trip with this, but uh, I definitely can see me using it to get into shore, and maybe into some of the islands I can't get into with, with the foot loose. So this might work. Well, it's gonna work. I got it. It's gonna work no matter what. So that's it for now. Thanks for tuning in to this part of the adventure. Yeah, may all your seas be calm. Take care. Well, I'm getting ready to fold this puppy up again. I uh, reviewed a couple YouTube videos in regards to how to fold it up, and it's pretty simple. Also, this pump both puts air in and takes air out, so it'll suck what little air is still in the uh, chambers, so it will fold up a lot flatter. What I did is first, I uh, there's a way on these, on these valves that you can lock it so it's open, and uh, that's in the directions. I've gotten much better at reading directions, don't you know? And so now all I need to do, it's deflated a lot, and I actually already sucked a lot of the air out of this, this one already as an experiment. Now I'm doing the bottom side, and so it's just a matter of this, the valve in there. There we go. The valves that are in here are pretty, ooh, well, it won't take any more. So it looks like I'm done. With that. Lock the valve. Put the valve cover on it to protect it. I've already done this one. Now we'll move over to the last chamber. see it going down a little bit more. What I just learned is that actually you can keep pumping, or reverse pumping I guess is the case, until it won't take any more. Like right now there's a lot of resistance, so I'm not going to pull any harder. Put this in. Okay, no, nothing's going in or out. Put the cap back on. And it looks like I'm ready to fold this puppy up. Time to fold this up. And so it's very simple. You fold it in half. Make sure everything is straightened out as much as you can without having any air in there. about wearing shorts is that knees don't like concrete. Okay, I think that's about it. Take this side, stuff it in here, turn it over this way so it's not hanging out. I got a pretty neat package. Now I've got the seats, and things of that nature, and I'll put that in next. Got this nice handy dandy bag, big bag. whole thing when it's all loaded up with the 
with the raft and paddles and everything. It weighs about 40 pounds. So the way I'm going to get it up on top, I think, is I'll put it on the ground or on the alongside the boat. There. I can lift it up with a rope first, get it up high, and then finish the job from there. So there's plenty of room for the seats and the pad that goes in. This is the box with all the attachments. I think that'll probably fit in there. Let's see how that does. Oh yeah. That's gonna work there. Then you got your paddles. That'll fit in here. Uh, they break into nice little pieces. You've got a nice button here where you can kind of pull things out so it makes it nice and short. Nice, neat package, and that's what. Uh, oh, I forgot the pump. The all important pump. You gotta make sure the pump is in there. I'd hate to have to be trying to blow this thing up without a pump. Put that in there like this. Make sure the hose is in the protected area. that. 